Good morning and thank you for joining us today on our Morning Moments with Jesus devotion time that we have here on our podcast. Have you ever looked at a situation that is going on in your life and think, that is an impossible situation. There is absolutely no way that I see that's going to work out or that that's going to come to pass. Or maybe a decision in your life, maybe something you're going through and you just look at it and you say, man, that's that's just impossible. Uh, for me to ever think that that's going to work out for my best interest or the way that uh, that I feel like it needs to work out. I think all of us have crossed those situations in our life, but Jesus reminds us in the Word of God that there are a lot of things that we can't do on our own, but there's nothing that He can't do if it's His will for our life and for the betterment of the situation that's going on around us. I'm reminded this morning in Luke chapter 1, the angel of the Lord had come to Mary and was talking to her specifically about her cousin Elizabeth bearing a child in old age. And uh, I know that Mary was kind of perplexed about this situation simply because she had been barren. And Jesus speaks in, in Luke one thirty seven, probably one of the most profound statements in the Word of God as far as governing our lives. I've drawn on it many times in my life when I felt like a situation uh, that I was going through was impossible. It was impossible that it was going to work out. He says in Luke one thirty seven, For with God nothing shall be impossible. And that's a, that's a, a powerful statement, but it's a qualified statement in the fact that he says, he begins that statement by saying, with God. And so many times we look at our situation and we look at how can I make it work out? How can I control it? How can I work it to where it works out in my favor? But that's not what God says. God says there are situations in our lives. Uh, We face uh, uh, situations in our lives when we feel like it's an impossible situation. There are times in our life or in our ministries or anything where we just feel like uh, it's not going to work out. In these times, it's important for us to realize that everything is possible with God. Some people look at impossible situations and they say it's never going to work out. But that's the wrong frame of mind because our God can do anything. I'm not saying He will do it for you the way you want it. But I'm just saying it is never impossible when God's involved. According Jesus even said in Matthew 9.29, Uh, When he was speaking to those that were going through a situation, he said, according to your faith, let it be done. God wants to use you today, and I need to tell you that. He wants to bless your life. He wants to bless your family, your career. He wants to bless your ministry if you're in the work of the ministry. Uh, He wants to do amazing things in your life today. He wants you to not only... uh, change and impact the things that are going around you. He wants you to understand this morning that you have a choice of whether allow your environment to change you or to go out and and begin to try to change your environment. And the first thing you're going to say is, I don't think that's possible. Well, then you don't believe Luke 137 when it says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. See, the, the truth of the matter is God is waiting on us to trust him. To trust Him that His Word is true. So we need to stop saying, I can't do that. I can't make this uh, situation work out. I can't make this ministry work. I can't make uh, things come to pass the way I want them to. Uh, I can't do what God wants me to do at this season in my life. I can't reach a certain person. I can't reach a certain goal in my work. Those are all lies from the enemy. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. See, God wants to use you according to your faith. He will make it done. He will make it to work out. So do you know what the greatest opposition to your faith is today? I'm here to tell you this morning, it's not other people. It's not critics. Most of the time, it's not even the devil. It's your own unbelief that all things are possible with God. So today you have a choice. You can choose to believe God or not. You can choose to trust Him or choose to not trust Him. But there are many things that you don't have control over today, but you can choose to have faith in God. So do you want to do big and mighty things in your life? 
Do you want to see the impossible come to pass? Then you need to believe God's Word when Jesus speaks and says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. So look at that situation today. Look at it straight on and say, With me it might not be possible. With my weakness and frailties and my inabilities, it may not be possible. But I'm going to give it to the Lord. And the Lord says that with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that's what I'm putting my trust in today. Walk by faith today and not by sight. Be safe, be strong, and always be blessed. And always believe that all things are possible when God's in it. Lord, we will see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, I sure hope you have a great day.